Hello, my name is Alex Aguilar Hernandez, and today I will be my speech will be on Spartan military history. This is Sparta is an iconic line in the movie 300, accompanied by the equally memorable uh, scene of King Leonidas kicking the messenger into the bottomless pit, which signified the start of war that would depict Spartans as valiant and unwavering warriors in modern media. As a history buff who has done extensive work regarding Spartan history, I feel as though I have the capacity to speak on it. The battles that will be looked at in this speech will be the Battle of Thermopylae, the Battle of Plataea, and the Battle of Aegis Potomac. My first point will be on the Battle of uh, Thermopylae, which occurred in 480 BCE during the Greco Persian Wars. According to Britannica.com, the article Battle of Thermopylae, pub published by Kathleen Loans and Donald Somerville on November 30th, uh, 2021, states that the confrontation occurred at a mountain pass at Thermopylae. There were, as specified by History.com, last updated on June 7, 2019, that an army of six to 7,000 Greeks and 300 Spartans were to prevent the Persians from passing. The number of Persians were are inconclusive as there are many different approximations of how many soldiers um, there were but modern estimates claim that there were around 70,000 to 300,000 soldiers regardless a detailed account of this battle is documented by Heteris in his book the histories translated in 2013, originally devised, devised around 425 BCE, details that the narrow space in which Spartans had to fight within had proven to be advantageous as it allowed them to push back the Persians while reducing the number of casualties on their side. After the battle seemingly going into a stalemate, the Persians had begun uh, to turn the tides when a Greek named Ephialtes had led the Persians to a different passage and that allowed them to outflank the Spartans. As news of this came to light, the Greeks were in disagreement in regards uh, to quitting the post or staying. Leonidas decided that his bands of Spartans, the Thebans and Thespians, would not retreat while soldiers from the other city states would retreat. The fighting, con the fight continued even when King Leonidas was killed in battle, and continued fighting until they were all killed. The Battle of Thermopylae is considered a paragon of unwavering determination and heroic persistence that gives Sparta its legendary step. <sighs> Likewise, the Battle of Aegis Potomac is another conflict that involved the Spartans and Athens. This was the final battle of the Peloponnesian War. According to GreekBoston.com, retrieved March 21, 2022, the naval battle was headed by Lysander and was aided by the Prince Cyrus of Persia, which would allow Sparta to rebuild their fleet after their defeat <clears throat> at the Battle of Argimasai, the Athenian navy was eventually destroyed, making it difficult for Athenians to gather resources and supplies. This, in effect, crippled the Greek city-state because the war uh, caused poverty throughout Greece and <clears throat> Athens was eventually absorbed by the Spartan Empire. In our final battle uh, that will be discussed will be the Battle of Pate. Or Plataea. The Battle of Plataea occurred in the small town of Plataea in <clears throat> Boeotia. According to worldhistory.org, the article Battle of Plataea by Cartwright, published in March 11, 2013, <clears throat> described the battle in three phases which would lead to the Greeks winning the battle. Mardonius would first make a fortified camp at the river Aespus. The Persians and the Greeks both settled on terrain that they were best suited to fight on. 
which means that they were both on land that they were, they both had an advantage on. <clears throat> and while they were, this eventually led to a two day stalemate. And it was broken when Mar Maronius uh, led his cal his cavalry uh, <clears throat> to the battle to battle the Persian commander Masistus, <coughs> who would then be killed. This increased the Greek army's morale. In phase two, the Greeks advanced north. They were at another standstill. At the Pyros River, due to both not wanting to lose their advantageous positions. Eventually, two more days passed, and Mardonius led a full frontal assault on Greek lines, causing havoc and ensuring the, that the Greeks would not have a source of water. In phase three, the Persians were yet outmaneuvered as the Spartans and Tegan had planned a counterattack, which left the unplanned and disorderly, uh, disorderly Persian forces to be boxed in and killed. Eventually, more Greeks made it to Persian fort, and that allowed them to cause massive casualties to the invaders. In conclusion, the battles disclosed above <coughs> only served to warrant uh, Sparta's military prowess and valor that many people see it as an admirable quality and, and that many wish to acquire. <clears throat> this essay was designed to inform you about uh, Sparta's military history and their many battles across Greece during the Peloponnesian and Persian Wars. <clears throat>